Get Mr. Giancarlo in the building. Giancarlo, what's happening, man? What's going on in the white Hispanic community? What's up, Giancarlo? What's up, Tariq? Um, no, I was just curious. I came on here. I was I was thinking when they're, when when are the foundational Black Americans gonna throw us some like you know like some foundational black women to the Latinos, bro. You know, um, we want to enrich the black Americans here. We want to help them grow their GDP per capita. Okay. Uh, so you, when is, you want, you want some FBA women to get at you? Yeah. Like some Fania, you know, like uh, we, got, you know. we got, I got a perfect woman for you. There's it's T.S. Giselle and T.S. Giselle is looking for love. And I can connect you guys with each other and, um, well, we can make that happen. Um, no, no, sir. I want foundational Black Americans. You know, like bl actual, like Black Americans. Yes, Giselle is a foundational Black American. No, no, sir. She's a tether. She's on no, no. your kind. I think Tariq. Giselle is a foundational Black American, and I think T. S. Giselle. Wait, wait. It, 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 who? T. S. Giselle. That's T. S. Giselle is. He, he's the foundational Black American. Is what you're saying? Yeah, T. S. Giselle is a foundational Black American, and I think you would like T. S. Giselle. You, you can um. There's a lot of things y'all have in common, more than you know. So, yeah, that's a connection that y'all can have. And T.S. Giselle comes up here all the time. So, yeah, when when you see T.S. Uh, sir, sir, I'm a capitalist, you know. Oh. I don't I don't think I don't think me and a Democrat like coexist. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, um, the, you know, the what's the what's the um, representative of the Republicans? I know the Democrats have the donkey. What's the Republicans representative? Uh, who um you're talking about the the senator from um Kentucky? No no uh, oh no the 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 mascot you know the Democrats have a mascot and the rep the Republicans have a mascot the Democrats mascot is the donkey what's the Republicans mascot? Do you know politics, sir? You don't know animals, sir. Clearly, sir you you uh, you don't know politics. You don't sound like you don't know politics that much, sir. Uh, sir, who, who, what state are you in? Or do you know your governor at least? <laughs> you know your capital? Yeah, but you're you're Colombian. Well, or is it Colombia, Venezuela? Where, where... And I know all the capitals and all the governors in all fifty states, sir. So what is your point? Well, yeah, man. I mean, you got to know where to flee. So yeah, of course you do. You you have to. You got a map on where to go to run. So yeah, you got a map of the whole spot. Um, but you ain't going back to no damn Colombia. That's one place you're not gonna go. Why not, bro? You guys are going there. Why wouldn't I go there? Right, well, we, we go down there and come back. You know, we go down there, vacation on the beach. People go down there to get some dental work and then come on right back. Yeah, we don't just go stay and just set up shop like you did. Clearly, clearly you don't want to support your own kind. You know, you don't want to go to the black ortho orthopedist or the black, you know, uh, the black dentalist, you know, and in America, you rather go to the cheap Colombians, right? That pay do good work. Money back, yo, I respect them. You got a good, got a fine veneer, you know. Everybody, work is work. Everybody goes down there. Absolutely, yeah. You're going to go where the, where the money flows. You're going to go where the money is being saved. So, yeah, you're definitely going to go down there. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Just like you brought your ass up here where the money is with foundational. Oh, uh, sir, I was born here. I'm, I'm from here, sir. Oh, you, you're, it's called an anchor baby, sir. And how do you feel about Trump? Is he's going to stop that birthright citizenship for? Sir, sir I vote. I, we voted. We, do you not understand the, the Latinos voted for him like me? Right. The, the ones with, that got to lose in this country, you know, not not the corner boys, not the corner boys moving our dope, bro. So yeah. You know, so, how do you feel now? Now you. So, so sorry. No, no. But like, how do you? Now, slow down. Now your cousins are going to be stuck down there in Colombia. They're going to be stuck down in Colombia now, sir. So how do you feel about that? Or you do you just not give a damn about your cousins? Uh, uh, oh, what happened, Giancarlo? Giancarlo, what happened? Did you fall? Sorry, um, Colombian pussy was like 2020, bro. I'm here for foundational Black American women. Um, these women have been neglected. These are the the women that have strive for the Black excellence in this country. Um, I'm here that's to. But I'm telling we're you, here, we're here to bear. That's why you need to get with T.S. Giselle. I'm here to bear fruit to the real Black American women that want to have mulatto. T.S. Giselle, you and T.S. will bear fruit together. All right. 
There's a lot of fruit. There's a lot of bananas that's going to be going down. Um, but anyway, when are you going to visit Columbia again? When are you going to go down there to visit your family? You might have a double. Listen, sir. Um, someone has to make mulatto like actually attractive. Um, I'm sorry to say this, but the black Americans, white women, just have you seen those kids? If it's not Jason Tatum, it's that the ugliest, fuck, bro. Um, um, sir. The Dominicans got this rap. This is why I want to compete with the Dominicans because uh, they they want to distance themselves from the Haitians. Sir, are you really trying to talk about the looks of people, sir? Okay, you don't want to go there. You don't want to, you really don't want to go. Yeah, I mean, you're like, a, you're Nigerian descent, right? You're like a Zulu, right? Or Somali. Sir, you got more Nigerian than you than me, sir. And we've seen what y'all look like down there when you hit 30. The back is big and the head is wide, sir. And so you, you're not going to, you can't point the finger at anybody. You look like, no. you look like French bulldogs with empanadas. So yeah, you don't want to go there, sir. But yeah. It, Anyway, anyway, thank you so much, Giancarlo. You're getting boring. Um, Sister Funya, whatever your name is. Well, let me just get her up out of here. She ain't. What? I hate when my dogs get to scratching the damn door when I let them out. All right, Michael. What's up, Michael? Man, how are you, sir? I'm doing all right. Can't complain. What's on your mind? Um... I was just wondering, because I saw the John Jones fight, and um, I, I don't know if this has been talked about before, but how do you feel about it? Do you feel like uh, you guys, the the black community, do you feel like you guys have uh, regained your sense of uh, public image? Now, you say you guys. Now, what are you? What do you mean? Now, what are you? Are, are you a black person? Well... No, I'm I'm white, so I'm not a part of the black community. But I was just wondering on how did it like make you feel? You're white. You don't sound white. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah, I don't think really. What part of Europe are you supposed to be from? Because you're not a white man. I can hear the melanin in your voice, sir. No, no, no I'm from America. From America, I mean, but wh where in Europe? Where is where from Europe did your family come from? They came from the UK. Why? Yeah, yeah, you're a black dude, man. You're a brother. Why are you pretending <laughs> to be white? That didn't, that didn't even work. In, uh, you clearly are black. I, you can hear melanin. You know that, right? You can hear. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's on your mind? Yeah, I, I, I'm just fucking around with you. But, but, but seriously, what did you think about the I, the fight? No, I I didn't see it when I when I get off here tonight. I'm going to look at it because I heard it was a good fight. But um. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad our brother, our FBA brother, John Jones, I'm, he he won and he did his thing. I heard he did his thing, so I want to see it. What do you think about the fight? Um, I think it was because John Jones he hasn't fought in a really long time, so I thought he could potentially be rusty, but he he knocked he knocked him out. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he knocked him out. So, so that was kind of you know it was something to see. It was a sight to see. Yeah, yes. But and also after the fight, he um. He did the Trump dance and then he gave his belt to Donald Trump. I really like that. I didn't know John Jones was like a Trump supporter. I, I really like that. So what did you think about that? Yeah, I think he was being patriotic. I think he was trying to kind of clean up his image, which is good because he'd gotten in trouble. So I, I understand that. I, yeah. So yeah he, that's all I that's all I, I, have. That's all I have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think this guy, he's one of those um, MAGA guys. And here's the thing. A lot of the MAGA guys are a little upset because a lot of the MAGA dudes for the last few years, they've been kind of getting their shine by being contrarians. I think a lot of these MAGA cats, their whole thing is being contrarians to Black society and antagonizing Black society in order to show out for the dominant white society. Now that there are um, a significant amount of black people who are actually Trump supporters and a lot of black people are not looking at Trump as negatively as they were years ago, a lot of these MAGA dudes, it ain't really, you know, it, it ain't really hidden for them like they, they needed to hit for them. They're a little confused. I think a lot of them are a little confused right now. It's very interesting. All right, let me get some more folks in here. Let's get um, World Goyam Unite. Okay.
some 4chan stuff sounds like. World Goyim Unite. So what's going on? What are we uniting, World Goyim? Nah, man. What's up, man? We ain't uniting. I mean, like, uniting. You, you feel me? All I want to say is, yo niggas, talking all night tonight, better recognize. You feel me? The shit's going to hit the fan. Now, what niggas you talking about? Which ones? What niggas? What niggas? The dumbass niggas. I'm not talking about you smartass niggas like yourself, Tariq. I'm talking about dumbass niggas. Dumbass niggas don't know anything. They don't know what the f Tuesday is from Wednesday. You feel me, brother? So does when, when, when your mom has a black man's pole in her mouth, does she mumble the word dumb nigga? Hmm? The f what the f are you talking about? Poles and mothers and niggas talking about. What are you talking your about? Your Latino mother has a chocolate pole in her jaws. Does she mumble the word nigga like you? Hmm? No, man. What the f are you talking about, man? What you talking about I'm niggas talking, talking about your big wide back abuela. That's what I'm talking about, sir. I'm talking about your big wide back hairy chin mom. When she has a black pole in her mouth, does she yell out the N word just like you? Hmm? Does she do it? Come on, world. I don't have you muted, sir. Come on now, mute your microphone. Let's talk black to me, as our sister Vicky Diller says. Talk black to me. What's happening? Giancarlo, is this one of your cousins, Giancarlo? Goyim, go ahead and talk. Unmute your microphone. You calling up trying to be slick. All right, my man. Don't, don't, be, don't be muting my mic. You feel me, brother? Yeah, but you have your goddamn mouth, you dude. Nah, I, I, I ain't got that goddamn mouth. Nobody's feeding my goddamn mouth with no okay, dick. Okay, first of all, um, y'all white Latinos, y'all cannot hit that bad, dirty meth that y'all be smoking and then call up talking crazy. All right, if you hit your meth, hit it by yourself. Just go to your little Motel 6. Get you a nice warm burrito and hit that meth pipe and eat you something and go to sleep. You don't call up to us talking crazy. Now, did you have anything constructive you wanted to say or are you just going to meth babble? Because you already started off sideways talking with the N-word. As a white Latino, it don't work like that. We don't do that. All right? Go ahead, world. Okay, let me get him out of here. He's toking on that meth pipe. All right. Shut your damn mouth. Okay, this is Funaya lady, you keep requesting. Funaya, I let you up, beloved. Hop in, Funaya. I let you up and you didn't say nothing. Funaya, unmute your microphone, Funaya. Unmute your microphone, Funaya. Because we would like to hear what you got to say. All right, Funaya. I'm going to give you 10 seconds, and then I'm going to get you out of here. All right. You got eight seconds left. And you got five. And nah, you got to get you out. Now, y'all raise your hand if you want to get on. If you are ready to get on, ladies and gentlemen, raise your hand. Let's get Joel C. Get Joel in the building. Joel. All right. Let's get Joel in the building. Come on, y'all got to get it together. All right. Let me see. I had Shogun. I already had you up, brother. Uh, 
Oh, hello? Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, oh hey, what's going on, Tariq? What's up? Yo? My bad, man. <laughs> uh, how you doing, man? I just, this is, um, I'm no, I'm no uh, dude that, um, you know, my daughter was in your, uh, your commercial. Yeah, yeah, y'all been to the museum, too. I remember you and your lady. <laughs> yes, yes. How you doing tonight? Man? I'm good, man. Um, uh, we good. We good. Uh, I just had a quick question, man. Um, I'll be real brief. Um, are you planning to do uh, like produce a like a show or some type of series where I don't know, like that's just written, you know, for us that it ain't like no gay agenda. It ain't no um, uh, you know, black men looking weak or you know, it's just. Something strictly from an FBA perspective, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Something about us. Yeah, well, I, that's all I got. I let my thank plan. you, brother. I have a bunch of film projects that you know I'm tossing around, but you know that's pretty much it right now. So just getting ready for these film projects and things like that. All right, all right. Let's get um, what was it? Let's get Queen Debina. Queen Debina. I think I'm pronouncing your name right. Queen Debina. Hop on in, Queen. Unmute your microphone if you can. Hello, Tariq. Hello, how are you? I'm doing good. That's what's on your mind? I, you know, I, I accidentally touched the button. I'm so sorry. But listening is always, always be here for there you. There you go, dear. Thank you so much. Queen is over there eating a bag of um, skins. She's eating some. Mm -mm. <laughs> She's eating a bag of funyuns. Okay, in the middle of the night, she's having a midnight snack. Ain't nothing wrong with that queen. She's watching old reruns of Barnaby Jones or something. She's just keeping it old school. All right. <laughs> Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's get Brother Jerry. Let's get Jerry in the building. Jerry in the building. Jerry in the building. Hop in, Jerry. Unmute that microphone, Jerry. All right, Jerry. Jerry got T.S. Giselle over his house. All right. My brother, please use a condom. All right. Whatever you do, just use a condom, brother. Let's get um Playmaker in the building. Playmaker is in the building. All right. Playmaker. Peace, peace, Tariq. Thank you for finally... You know what I'm saying? Accepting. Yeah. Are you Yeah. Um. So, uh, I was calling. I I really, uh, I recently just started like looking up um my family history and my family lineage. Yeah. Um, and I was wondering, like, I talked to like all of my all of my grandparents, the ones that are still alive, and all four of my grandparents told me that they had uh Native American in their family. Mm -hmm. And is but they don't know like which tribe um that they're from. So I was wondering, like, do you know of a way where we could kind of uh I guess start to like try to figure that out or decipher that? Yeah, we um we gotta start really peeling back because a lot of you gotta understand that a lot of tribes that we have now were basically the dominant society, the white supremacists. They were moving different tribal groups from here to there. Then they became part of this tribe. Then they became part of another tribe. Um, we got to understand a lot of the, like, especially the five so-called civilized tribes. Um, these tribes were kind of named by the dominant society. Like the the Navajo, that's not their real name. Because I was out there kicking it with the the Navajo tribe in in Arizona. Their their name that they called themselves was the Dene. 
the Diné tribe. Navajo, that was, from what I understand, it was some kind of Spanish slang term for horse thief or something like that. So that the Navajo name was given to them. Even the Creek name, that was a name created by the white supremacists. They saw a bunch of Indian tribes living by a creek. They said, damn it, that's the Creek Indians. So I just want to show you how these names came about. Even Seminole, there's no such thing as a Seminole. Seminole is a, basically another Spanish word uh, or, or an amalgamation of a Spanish word that means runaway. Because that's what the Seminoles were. They were black people who they were trying to, who the white supremacists were trying to enslave. Um, they would escape and live with the Upper Creeks. That morphed into what would become the Seminoles. So these tribes have been remixed so much, it's kind of hard to decipher which tribe we actually came from. Then you got the Yamasee tribes that was on the East Coast. Many of them were black. So we just got kind of mixed in. When the white supremacists came, they said, okay, these red ones, these ones who kind of have an, an Asiatic look, we're going to do some divide and conquer. We'll, we'll get some of those guys and um, pit them against the Negroid looking ones. There's a reason why they use the term Indian because they were black skinned like the people over in India. So it's a real deep thing. It's a real, real deep thing. So we do need to start doing some more research to kind of dig as far back as we can go to just kind of understand what regions we were coming from because you know, most of us as foundational black Americans have some type of um, indigenous ancestry over here that's not talked about. And we really got to get into that because they try to make us generic Africans, which we are not. We're not generic Africans. That's what I call it. There's a y'all just from Africa somewhere. Everybody came from Africa from somewhere. No, that's not going to be our, our identifier. We have a ethnic group and we are foundational black Americans. That's what it is. Let's get John Swade in the building. John Swade, or Von Swade, Von Swade, unmute your microphone. Yeah, Von Swade, how you doing? I'm good, Von, how are you, sir? All right, that's a quick question. Um, I want to know, are we gonna have any uh, gift packages for sale? Uh, Chris, like a root work package with some of your, your t-shirts that you was wearing? Yeah. Like um, Vote the Couch? Anything like that going on for the future? We might. I might have something for the holiday season. I will keep everybody posted on that. Usually we have some kind of good sale for the holiday season. So I will, we'll, we'll have something. We'll have something ready for everybody. I keep y'all posted. Let's get, excuse my masculinity. Hey, Kareem, what's up? Big what's guy? up, brother? How are you? I can't call it. I've just been trying to get on. I could never get on. <laughs> and we here. Where it is, man. What's going on with it? Yeah. Not much. I was wondering, is, um, have you ever heard of the, the black nobility? Are they still around? Black nobility who? The black nobility. I used to hear it about a long time ago. No, no. What is that exactly? Is, what is it? I don't know. It's just a group that I used to hear, and I used to pull it up. And I used to always hear about when they was talking about the black nobility. Yeah, I just don't know. I I don't know the context of it. So yeah, I I have no idea. That can be. Is it a gang, a group, a reading group, or an ancient group? I mean, it, there has to be some kind of context to it. I don't know. Um, let's, is this one of these Indian dudes? Jit, whatever your name is, um, Kumar Tori. Jitondor, whatever your name is. It's just one of these these Indian Pakistani dudes start calling up. Hold on, I'm gonna get him out of here. I don't... These dudes be out here trying to finesse. All right, let's get Mad One in here. Mad One. Mad One in the building. Mad One in the building. Good with you, brother. I'm good, man. How are you? 
I'm chilling, man. I got three points. One, kudos to you, brother. Mm -hmm. One, I got to give it up to you on this FBA D lineage. Always been down with it, but when you put it to power, bro, I had to jump on it. Been following you since 2009. Oh, yeah. Two, this uh, John Bones Jones fight tonight, bro. I've been a John Bones Jones fan following the UFC for I don't know how long, but he been a been a bad buck, bro. Oh. So oh, oh, oh. so I don't I don't put nothing past him as far as the uh bed bucking the 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 tethering uh, the boule class that he do with Donald Trump and Kid Rock and all that. He gonna do that. Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. I don't put it past him. He been a he's a great fighter. Yeah. For sure. When it come down to the UFC, he's a great fighter. And I've been following him since pretty much when he started. When he beat Quinn Rampage Jackson, that's when I started following him. Mm. You know, but he been that, so I expect that. You feel me? Yeah. Three, I'm in Dallas, Texas, and <laughs> I just happened to see Jake Paul at Bombshells in Arlington. Wow. <laughs> I just had to call him out and say, yo, Jake, F you, bro. <laughs> For real. Oh. I ain't even watch your video. I saw the pop up on the video on the Jake Paul Tyson fight, and I haven't watched it yet. The replay on YouTube, I haven't watched it yet. But I've been standing on this FBA business, and I see what Jake Paul really is. Like, he's doing this as a culture vulture taking our excellence and capitalizing on it, taking the boxing excellence and capitalizing on it only for the money. So I really had to just do what I can do and flip them the bird, bro. <laughs> I can't walk up. I can't walk up and slap the hell out of them because I'll be going to jail mm -hmm. and he'd be going home. You feel what I mean? Right. I'm a I'm a logical dude. So I just had to tell you like, I just happened to get the notification that you was on live when it happened. And I'm like, yo, let me tap into Tariq and tell him exactly what I did, that I'm standing on FBA business. Hey, Paul, excuse my language. And yo, I'm, I'm out here for you, bro. Much That's it. I appreciate that. Let's get Caius Alani. Caius Alani. Yo, Uncle Flex, what's happening, my brother? Hey, brother, how are you, sir? I'm good, yo. I didn't want to come on here and waste your time, I, my uh, my good friend. I just wanted to come show you love, bro, just to let you know that the FBA family loves you. We love what you do. We're looking forward to your next projects. I've been following you since eighth grade, and I'm 30 years old now, man. And next time you're in Raleigh NC, I want to take you out to lunch at a nice Ruth Chris restaurant or some shit. Like that bro respect man they got ruth chris out there yeah we got two we got one in north hills and one in durham yeah, that's what's up my brother man i appreciate you man thank you so much all right let's get on what's his name us uh, what's the it is so my brother there you go what's the, what's going on how you doing my brother tanik nasheed yes what's going on with it First of all, I would like to thank Tanik Nasheed and my fellow knee guys for allowing me on the stage. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you got to get that West African accent down a little bit better, though. Okay, I am sorry, but I was looking at this uh, Library of Congress, and, and, and it's find something very, very, very strange. It says you knee guys... Uh, it is missing the power of attorney to receive payments from compensation bonds issued. This is missing from the records. What do you think about that? Yeah, I'm not familiar with that, but thank you so much. All right. Tion, what's up, Tion? Good evening, Mr. Nashi. Um, nice to talk to you tonight. And I'd just like to say you, you have one of the most beautifulest families ever. Your wife and your kids are just Beautiful. I love watching seeing them from time to time. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. And and my only suggestion for a documentary would be, we know about Tulsa and that massacre, but I think a lot of people fail to realize that there, there were massacres all over the country. 
uh, I'm here in Florida. I can tell you at least four towns that were burnt to the ground based on white uh, supremacist racism. So it it would be good. It would be great to have all all those towns documented. Uh, have a good night. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of them in Florida. They they targeted a lot of places in Florida because they were trying to get their lick back. And also, that's why they targeted Tulsa, too, because Tulsa had black people who were from Florida. Tulsa, when that, they had the Trail of Tears and had people leaving from the east going out to the west, many of those black people were from Florida. And Florida had always tried to get their lick back because the black folks, those black maroons, the family, y'all don't understand how much they were whooping the white people's asses in Florida. The black people in Florida were giving them the damn business. They were whooping on Andrew Jackson's ass when he went down there. Many of those towns and counties down in Florida are named after white people who got their asses whooped by the black folks. They got the brakes beat off of them. Um, the black folks in Florida, this is the Maroons who got down with the Seminoles because they were the military arm of the Seminoles. They were down there massacring. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, hold on. Damn it. Let me mute him. He's up here doing an Uber order. But General Dade, where Dade County is named, his men got massacred by the Black Seminoles. They towed them up and then chopped them up afterwards. They got they shot them down and then chopped them. It's like a hundred of their dudes. They shot that. They they killed that whole regiment. I think left about one or two alive so they can go tell what happened. And when the the white man went and told what happened, he was like, "Yeah, we got ambushed." And then some Negroes came out and just started chopping up everybody with hatchets. That's what Dade County is named after. It's real heavy. But they've been trying to get their lick back out there in Florida. They've always tried to get their lick back. They don't like taking no, no L. They do not like to take no L's. Whenever the white supremacists take L's, they never forget. Yeah. They never forget. Um, let's get, what's your name? Uh, Badu? Badu, what's up, brother? He was just talking earlier. Now he ain't saying nothing. Badu, what's going on, brother? Badu ain't saying nothing. Now, let me get him up out of here in a second. Uh, where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Let's get Black Wonder. Black Wonder. Let me get Badu out of here. Black Wonder. What's up, brother? Black Wonder in the building. All right, unmute your microphone while we're waiting on you to unmute your microphone. Get inside it. Can you hear me? There you go, Black Wonder. There you go. What's up, man? Oh, okay, my, uh, it's an honor and privilege to speak with you. I'm I'm talking to you from the Philippines currently, but I am FBA all the way from New Orleans, Louisiana. Cool. So what, what's and uh, what's going on out there in the Philippines? Oh, n n nothing special besides the typhoons. We've been hit by, uh, well, they call them hurricanes back home, but they call them typhoons over here. Yeah. And when they get really bad, they call them super typhoons. Um, it, I guess you would call it like a category four, category five back home. It's It's been really bad in, in parts of here, but where I'm at in Manila, it's just a rainstorm. And being from New Orleans, you know, I'm, I'm used to that. Oh, yeah. So what makes so what um, made you move? Go ahead. You a, a Filipino chick? What, what made you move? <laughs> uh, no, not yet. There, there's a lot of them that are, uh, uh, I guess, making that option for me. But that's not my primary reason. I'm 
I, I've always wanted to go to Southeast Asia and I'm going to check out Thailand and Vietnam and Malaysia, things like that. Also the cost of living here is a fraction of what it is back home. So that helps me out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pushing an early retirement thing. And, uh, but I haven't forgotten, uh, even though I, I'm a fan of traveling and other cultures, I have forgotten to push the B1 uh, mantra. And uh, real quick, I, I wanna keep you, uh, Mr. Nishi. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just want to give you your flowers. Um, I've only been following you for about two years. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you that I learned more from you in probably six months than I learned in college and from my peers and from my what I call my elders. Uh, you, you, you and the New Black Media have, in a way, saved my life. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't think that, I do not think that's uh, hyperbole. I want to, if you indulge me, uh, Tariq, if you indulge me, I want to share with the family two important reasons. There are many, but there are two that stand out the most to me, um, how I knew you were the real thing. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I've only been following you for like two years, okay. maybe a little less. Um, two, two incidents I discovered. One was when you experienced that, what do they call it? Um, when they call the cops swatting and the cops swatting. Right, right. I was like, okay, now they did this to this brother. He must be doing something right. He must be on to something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second one was, and this is might seem silly to the family, but it made a lot of sense to me and it, it impressed me. It's your insight. You are a critical thinker. And when you did your review of the movie Joker, family. If you haven't heard that review, go back and listen to Tariq break down the movie review of Joker. It, I said, okay, I'm, I'm sold. Mm. And, 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 you know, I just started getting digging into your catalog. I got a lot to catch up. It's only been a short time, but I plan to get all your movies. I plan to stream everything that you've got. But I just want to, uh, like I said, I want to give you your flowers. We, we always wait late in life to give people we admire their flowers. And I wanted to do it sooner rather than later. Man. So uh, keep doing what you're doing, uh, Tariq. One of these days I'm gonna get out to your, uh, <laughs> one of these days I'm gonna get out to your, uh, your, your um, ah, God, it's slipping on my mind. You have the, 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 the thing in DC, you had it last. And oh, no. Wait, you know what I'm saying, yeah. Um, uh, I'll land there and uh, much love to you and uh, greetings from the Philippines. Thank you so much, brother. Yes, indeed. Shout out to everybody in here. Um, let me get Pan African Man. Let's get Pan African Man. Well, let's let's do East Sider, then we'll get Pan African Man. East Siders, what's up, brother? Hey man, I'm gonna need first of all, how y'all doing? How you doing? How uh, the family? We good, man. How you doing, East Sider? I'm all right, man. I'm gonna need you and Red Joker to come up, come together, and reimburse everybody who's ever dropped their phones laughing at how y'all be roasting people. Oh yeah, Red Joker be. <laughs> I mean, straight up. But uh, on a serious note, um, I do want to get y'all, you and him, his flowers too. But uh, were you, are you familiar with the uh? with the separation of the black tribes that has been sent over throughout Europe and throughout Africa, you know, um, during chattel slavery. Somewhat. Yes. Yeah. Cause, uh, they would have, uh, they would send like the parts of the Yamases and some of the Cherokee, you know, the Eastern man, you know, they would send them over to places like Sierra Leone or the Congo or what's now Nigeria. They sent them over, you know, you know, you know, during child slavery and things like that, you know, events of that, you know, at that time. So, uh, I just want to give you to keep you updated on something like that. Yes. Just in case you might not have got a hold of it. I'll end right, Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, we know they did, um, they would send some of the natives and aboriginals from here, um, over to Europe. And there were a lot of stories about that. 
there was um a couple. They sent um Sancho. Was it Santo? They sent him. It was another um native they sent out there to England, and he finessed his way back up here. There were a couple of situations like that. Um, there was Santo, Sancho, and there was another guy. What is his name? It was another guy who was a Native American. It wasn't Sancho. I was I was doing a live one day and not Santo, it was Squanto. No, it was Squanto. That was one. And it was another guy named Epinal. And I got him in, I, I wanted to make a correction. A few weeks ago, I was talking about how they were taking Native Americans and Aboriginals from here. When the Europeans got here, they were taking some to, to Europe. They took one, one native named Squanto up there. There was another one named Epinal. That was another one. Now, Epinal was the one who finessed his way back. They took him to England and they were displaying him in England like a, as, a, as almost like an oddity. Like, hey, look at this guy we found over in the New World. And they just kind of have him standing around and people kind of gawking at him. He's like, man, well, this, this is not the business. It's cold over here. This food ain't. So he finessed his way back over here to America. Epinal, he told them, he said, listen, back home, I know y'all were looking for some gold. He said, look, I know where all the gold and all the. Oh, y'all, there's a place y'all didn't look. I know where it is, but y'all got to take me over there to it. So he, they were like, all right, we're kind of skeptical, but we we won't, we hear about that gold. We want that gold. He's like, no, trust me, man. I, I know where the gold are. And it's, it's, it's so much gold, man. You're going to have to have like a hundred ships to get them back. He was selling it. He was selling it. And ooh, the. Oh, big old titties and ass. You think Pocahontas had ass? No, nigga. It's big booty. It's, it's on and popping. Just go. So <laughs> they got him on a ship and brought him over here. <laughs> and uh, um, they took him over there to where his spot was. They're like, all right, we got our eye on you. Now go get them that gold. I'll be right back. Up and I went in the woods and got the homies and they start throwing bows and arrows at them. <laughs> they start ambushing them damn white supremacists. <laughs> He's like, there, there's your gold. Take this arrow in your ass. That's where the gold is, nigga. So yeah, some damn people were finessing their way back over here. Yeah, they were. You know, it was a uh, it was some deep stuff going on over there. Um, Pan African, you in here? Pan African, what's up, brother? Yes, yes. Um, hey, Tariq, man, you're an amazing brother. Now, I mean, I'm Haitian, so you don't have to ask me where my lineage is. I'm Haitian, hey, brother. <laughs> but yeah, man, you're an amazing brother. I support FBA, but I have to dispel something that somebody on your panel cell said the other day uh, a dominican said that oh um mr Raphael marina wasn't killing haitians because they was taking no that's a lie that's absolutely a lie mm -hmm. he killed them because they were black You're right that's why he did that You're right that's why he did that mm -hmm. when he was talking about 1492 no 1492, there was no Espanola. Espanola was there. It was there by the Tainos. It was there. But they started importing Africans. Mm -hmm. the, the Spanish got there, and then they, they gave a treaty with the French, and then the, tre the treaty said, all right, boom, we're going to start importing Africans. That's how it went down. Yeah. And then the Haitians rose up, and they fought back, and then they took over the whole island. Mm -hmm. The Dominicans are mad at us because we took over the whole island, and then they start, they created a treaty with the Spanish so they could fight us and take off, us off the island. That's the fact. Right. Yes, it is. Yep. You know what I mean? So they're, it's like... And their independence is not from the Spanish. They're, it's from us. Right, right. Their independence is from Haiti. Right, right. They don't, 
their independence is from us. Mm -hmm. And then we started fighting because remember, we there was a king, um, Henry Christoph and all that. We we started the the, the situation that happened was because we started fighting amongst ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's when everything started breaking apart. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And then the Spanish came in, they did a treaty with the Dominicans, and then the Dominicans started fighting us back, and that's how they won. That's why they got three fourths. Yeah. Not because of no Dominican. No. And then we tried to fight back, and that's when um Melina was like, nah, I'm gonna kill everybody off. Like, yeah. no, that dude is lying. He's a liar. Dominicans are so uh, racist. Don't think they're they're racist as hell. They're racist as hell. I got my cousin over there. I got two of my cousins over there going to through hell. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Going through hell because, oh, you black? Oh, you, mu you must be Haitian. We got to get you out of here. Yeah. That's the situation. So don't believe any Dominican that's coming over here giving you revisionist history. It's not your truth. Oh, yeah. Already knowing, brother. I'm already knowing. Oh, yeah. A couple. Yeah. Holding up, lying their asses off. And I'm like, no. Oh, no. We we know better. All right, let's get Son of Africa. Son of Africa. Son of Africa. Hop on. Son of Africa. Let's unmute your microphone, Son of Africa. Son of Africa, unmute that microphone sir all right uh right, let's get comedic to america in here because son of africa ain't saying nothing all right comedic what's up to comedic oh hold on wait wait that's son of africa son of africa what's up man what's up son of africa Man, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm around. Good. Uh, should I say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever, regardless of where you're spacing from. But I know in some areas it's night, and here where am I? It's a bit sunny, sunny. So, hey guys, regards from this side, from Africa at large. Regards oh, from my. Brother, I got to get your ass up out of here. Number one, I don't know what you're saying. Number two, I can barely hear what you're saying because the phone is very janky. And number three, you're low-key mumbling with an accent. So just everything is working against you, brother. No disrespect. I try to give you the benefit of the doubt, but I can't do it. I can't do it, brother. I can't do it. You try to get a request back. I can't do it, brother. Can't struggle to comprehend right now. It's too late. I don't know what you're saying, brother. And you know, that phone. Look, I, I know y'all can't really get the top-notch phones, but damn it, brother, you are talking on a flip iPhone. That's an iPhone that flips. I don't know what kind of phone that is. Let's get comedic in here. You let that dirty Haitian nigga get up here and, and talk in the spirit uh -oh. of VR. What you know, no. What you oh, don't know, musty Puerto Rican dude. Hold I'm not it. Puerto Rican. I told you time and time again. I'm not Puerto Rican. I'm. You FBA. don't disrespect. You don't disrespect our Haitian brothers. You don't. Do, where's my Haitian brother? Get back up here, brother. Wait. Where's my Haitian brother? Let me get him back up here. Oh no, you're not gonna disrespect my Haitian brother. Where would he go? Where'd you go, brother? Let me get you back up. He's probably dining on some cat. No, well, you ain't no better. You you dining on some damn rodent feet. All right. Where's my Haitian brother? Let me get him back up here. You're not going to disrespect a Haitian brother. No, oh, I wish he can get back up here. I would like for him to defend himself from this musty um, um, wannabe Ricky Ricardo. Oh, I want to pay the French. You did what? They were not. Okay, you can't. You how are you gonna try to talk to your phone, Janky? You couldn't even afford a good phone. You can't even afford a good enough phone to talk. To. All right, all right. Hey, you get your ass out of here. I hope you choke on some Chipotle beans. All right.
Let me get some more people in here. He can't even talk crap and his phone is janky. In the heart of nature, we find our true strength, a connection to our roots, to the land, to each other. Introducing Rootwork deodorant, infused with the potent power of High John the Conqueror Root. Embrace the natural strength and resilience passed down through generations. Feel the purity of natural ingredients, harmonizing with your body and spirit. Rootwork deodorant, bringing you in tune with nature and with yourself. Rootwork deodorant, connect, empower, thrive. Available now at rootworkstyle.com. <laughs> 